Hi guys, welcome to day six of your seven day yoga challenge, very kindly sponsored by Asquith, which is the activewear brand that I'm using throughout this whole series. So today we're gonna to be doing a very deep stretch. We're gonna be getting into the hips, the hamstrings, the quads, and we're gonna be staying quite close to the floor. Um, if you're feeling really tight in your quads or your hamstrings, feel free to grab a strap and a block. I'll show you how to use them later on. But yeah, let's start in child's pose today. So bring your big toes together at the back of the mat. And options here is you can take your knees out kind of wide if you want or keep them quite narrow. So whatever feels good. And then drape your body over your thighs. You can make a little pillow for your head with your hands if you want or lengthen them out, whatever feels good. Close down the eyes. Take a nice big inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Nice. So the breath is really important when we move deeper into stretches. Really let it guide you. So if your breath starts to get a bit panicky, that means you just need to ease off a little bit, okay? So keep that breath nice and calm throughout this whole practice today. Nice, slowly, slowly, we're gonna come forwards to an all fours position. Nice, stacking knees underneath hips, wrists underneath our shoulders, nice. Let's roll through our cat cow. So inhale, drop your belly, shine your heart forward. Exhale, push the floor away, good. Inhale, fill up. And exhale, really let your head drop, nice. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine. Tuck your toes, make sure all 10 toes are on the mat. Walking your hands back, maybe towards your thighs. You can stay here if you want to, or give your full weight to all 10 toes. Just make sure that little pinky toe wants to get involved. Mine kind of wants to like quaver out to the side for some reason. Nice, so we're gonna warm up our feet here. Um, so this activates the fascia in our feet, which is really gonna help us in our hamstring stretches. And I know this is uncomfortable. So if you can relax your shoulders, unclench your jaw, and breathe. Try to focus on the finer details of the sensations of this pose. So if you just focus on the feet, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So just notice how your shoulders are doing, how your tummy's doing, how the thighs feel. Keep breathing. Nice, and then slowly coming forward to all fours. Tap out those to toes, roll out the ankles if they need it. Nice, from here, walking our hands out, coming into our puppy pose. We've done this one before together. So dropping your chin, dropping your chest. And with each exhale, see if you can make your heart just sink a little bit closer to your mat. You can shake out the tailbone here a little bit if you want to, loosen up the lower back. slowly walking those hands back towards you. Hands underneath your shoulders. Let's come to our first downward facing dog. So tucking toes, lifting the seat, take it back to your downward facing dog. Pedal out through the feet, just feel out how those hamstrings are doing today. Take it nice and easy. Good, on your next inhale, pick your right leg up high, bend the knee and just allow that heel to drop over. So you might see it underneath your left armpit. Come up really high on your left toes and allow you to open out a bit more. Good, take a big breath. As you exhale, we're gonna step that foot onto the outside of our right hand. So don't worry if you can't get it there in one swoop, you can wriggle the toes forwards and uh, use the hand to encourage it. Nice, from here, drop your knee and tuck your toe. And we're gonna maybe come a little bit lower. So grab your blocks if you want. You can use your blocks underneath your forearms. Otherwise, coming down to forearms, you can have a little rock from side to side, forwards and back, whatever feels good. Nice. From here, coming back up onto your hands, we're gonna bend the back knee, reaching with our right hand. If you can't reach, grab your strap, I'll show you on this side. Grab your strap, lasso it around your foot, and then you can gently, gently pull. So just be really mindful that you're not really kind of yanking it hard. So it's just very gentle pulls, like you were pulling a pint, nice and gently. Not that I've ever pulled a pint before, but you know. Nice. 
It's a big quad stretch. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, let go of the foot. Don't let it ping to the mat. Lift the back knee by tucking the toe. We're gonna to come into a ninja squat. So walking the hands back to the uh, back foot, balancing on the toe, reach your right toes up to the ceiling. Take it nice and slow, that transition. Good, and then coming back to center. Cool, from here, we're gonna to come to our pigeon stretch. So heel toe your foot across to the left hand side. Dropping the knee down, untuck the toe. And if this is really uncomfortable for your knees, you can use a block underneath your bum. Just make sure that there's no pain in the knee. So it's all about the hips, not your knees. Come up high onto your fingertips, stretching through that hip flexor, and then slowly, slowly melting the body down. Come to forearms, you can use a block as a little pillow. And really big breaths here. With this one, you want to relax the body as much as possible. So making each exhalation count. If you want to change it up a bit, you can creep your hands over to the left hand side. Slightly changes it just a little bit. It's not essential. If you're happy where you are, stay there. Nice, slowly coming back through center. If you're went over to the side, plant your hands underneath your shoulders. We're gonna wake up that right leg. So give it a little shimmy out, a shake out, do what you gotta do, a little walk out, nice. And let's do the other side. So inhale, left leg sweeps high, bend the knee, let gravity have that heel. Come up really high on your right tiptoes to open out. You might be able to see your toes underneath your right armpit. Good, take one more breath. As you exhale, come into your lizard leg. So left foot on the outside of your left hand. Drop your knee, untuck your toe, and then just see how you go on this side. So you might be really happy here. You might be all the way up here and that's still fine if you're feeling the stretch. Cool, go for it, stay there. Otherwise, if you feel like you can go a little bit lower, come to your forearms or the block. You can have a little rock from side to side, get into those like niggly spots. Good, coming up onto your hands again. Lift your back knee, reaching with your left hand this time. Remember that strap is there if you want it. If you feel like this is mega easy for you, you can come down onto your forearm. That's also an option. Nice, a very gentle pause. Exhale, planting that hand down, tuck the toe, lift the knee. We're coming into a ninja squat on the back foot. So walk the hands back, keep your left toes lifted. You should feel a stretch into the inner thigh and into the hamstring a little bit as well. Nice, then slowly coming forwards, plant the hands, drop the back knee. We're gonna find our pigeon. So heel toe your foot across to the right, slide that back foot back, come up onto your fingertips, get that. Nice hip flexor stretch to begin with. And then slowly, slowly melt the body down. So there's no rush. You know we're here for a little while. You can move very slowly into these deeper stretches. And make each exhale count. So each exhale is like a little message to your body to relax. So notice if you're holding tension in the jaw, the shoulders, just scanning all the way down to the toes. Nice. And then if you want to, you can creep your hands over to the right. You did it on the other side. Keeping the breath nice and calm. Nice, creeping the hands back through centre. If you went over to the side, walking the hands back towards you and re-find your downward facing dog, waking up this left leg in whatever way you see fit. So tuck the toes, lift the knees, give it a little walk out, a little pedal out, nice. From here, we're gonna step to a yogi squat. So step in the right foot on the outside of the right hand, left foot on the outside of the left hand, and then sit down into your yogi squat. So 
I will come and face this way. So press the palms together. See if you can really relax your bum. Shoulders roll away from the ears. You want to keep loads of space around there. And then from here, take your hands behind you. And we're going to take our legs out as wide as you possibly can. So with this one, use your hands behind you and push. It gives you that little kind of extra opening. If you feel like you're really caving, you're looking a little bit like this, hop up on a block and that will give you a little bit more length in your lower back. Nice. Keep your toes flexed to the ceiling. Take a nice big breath in. And exhale, folding forward. You can keep your hands behind you or in front if you prefer. And what you want to think about is your belly touching the floor before your head does. So your ego is going to make you want to go like this. But actually, it's not so good for your back. So keep your back nice and straight and think about where your tummy is going. You can use your hands just to kind of creep and coax. But keep it nice and calm. As always, this is a really calming yoga practice, this one. Even though it's intense, we want to keep it nice and calm. Nice, slowly walking those hands back towards you. Bring the soles of the feet together. Pull your heels in nice and close towards you. Again, if you're caving into that lower back, hop up on a block, sit up nice and tall. Open out your feet as if you were reading a really good book. So really pull them open. Take a big breath in to lift up the chest. And as you exhale, fold forward again. Think about where your belly is going more than where your head wants to go. You can use your elbows to self-adjust and push down onto those thighs, just to kind of lever, arch them open a little bit. Nice, slowly, slowly coming all the way back up, closing up your knees like a book. Take your hands behind you, take a little sway from side to side, just loosen up those hips. Nice. From here, we're going to do a forward fold. So lengthen out your legs in front, pull your toes back towards you. I see a lot of lazy toes in classes. So you really want to activate your legs. So by activating this front side of your leg, the back side, the hamstrings can relax. So that's how it works. So when you're ready, take a nice big breath in, lift. And as you exhale, fold forward. So pull up your kneecaps, engage your quads. You can grab your toes, your knees. Try not to get too obsessed with toes. It's like a foot fetish in yoga to be like always touching our toes. It's really not essential. So if you are quite far away, you can even use a strap and stay here. Use that strength in your arms. Really take um, advantage of this opportunity to use the strength in your arms to pull. We don't have a lot of opportunity in yoga to actually pull. We, we actually mostly do pushing. So really use that strength in your arms to take you a little bit deeper. Let's take one more big breath here. Exhale just to fold a little more. Good. Inhale slowly coming up. Get rid of the strap if you've got it. Hands behind you. Fingers pointing the same way as toes. Bend the knees. I'm going to push up into a reverse table, so press into your hands, press into your feet. Make your tummy nice and flat. Imagine you were balancing a tray of drinks on your tummy, you don't want to spill anything. And you can let your head drop back if you want, but if you don't like the way that feels, don't worry. I don't particularly like it, so I keep my chin to my chest. Nice. Take one more big breath in. Exhale slowly, slowly lower down, and we're going to lower down onto our back, so you can use your elbows to slowly come down. Hugging both knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little bit of a hug. Nice. Dropping the knees over to the right hand side. Open up your arms. Gazing over to the left. Just let it be really, really passive. Nice. Inhale. Bring the knees back through center. Let them fall the opposite way. Head turns to the right. Nice inhale, bringing the knees back through center. Let's finish with a happy baby. So grabbing soles of the feet or ankles. Bring your hands to the inside of your knees, then grab the outsides, or you can totally be here as well. And then pull your knees down towards your armpits, have a little wriggle. 
and just feel out how those hips are doing. See if you can keep your head and shoulders out of it. Keep your lower back into the mat. Maybe you can straighten out one leg, both legs. Maybe just having a wriggle feels good. Nice, hugging the knees in towards the chest. And you're welcome to stay here and get comfortable for Shavasana. Take maybe just two to three minutes in stillness in Shavasana. Otherwise, thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Very well done on these deep stretches. And I'll see you tomorrow, which is going to be a Sunday self-service yoga practice. Thanks, guys. Namaste.